everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. If you are visiting for the first time, thank you so much for checking out this channel. If you are returning, thumbs up to you. Today I'm walking you through how to remove objects within a photo using Adobe Lightroom. I'm going to be using the mobile version of the application, but you can do this on the desktop as well as the web browser version of the application. I've had recent inquiries about editing photos in Adobe Lightroom. It's one of my favorite apps to edit photos. Usually everything that I share on social will go through that app first and then Adobe Express and then onto the social platforms. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's an image loaded into Lightroom. This one I shot using my phone in Colorado. Beautiful scenery, all the bison hanging out. The one in the center there was actually looking at me at one point. It would have been great. But now that it's turned away, I kind of want to remove it. And also the fence right there was distracting. I didn't even notice it when I shot it. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to use the healing brush or the magic band-aid tool and remove those two objects. I'll start with the bison, tap on healing. And here you could also notice there's a stamp. That's the cloning stamp. So you can use that as well to help fine tune the removal of objects. The three dots there, this one is for the size of your brush. And then this one right here is the feathering, how much feathering you want on there. And then this one is opacity. I'm gonna go full 100% opacity. And then I do a little feathering. I like just a tad bit. And now what I'm going to do is just kind of brush over that bison. And just like that, it is removed. You can adjust where the grass is pulled from. It says right there, it's pretty close. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and yeah, I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and try the fence line now. Let me make this feathering, not as much feathering. Let's see, let's go about 44. Make this just a tad bit smaller. And let's see how this will look like. Try to get right on that first line. Looks pretty good. And then I'll go here. And then let me try this one. And there's a little bit here on the corner. Now, sometimes that will happen. And what you do is just, whoops. What you'll need to do, let's try that again. Pretty good. Let's see. Not bad. I'll do a little fine tuning here. Just a little touch up right there. There we go. And now you can't really tell that that was there. I might do a little touch up on the bison right there. Maybe go back and just fine tune that just a little bit. Cause I can kind of tell right here. And then, whoops, too much. Let's see, we'll just move that a little bit right there. And boom, right there. So there we go. Nice, and I can actually go and remove all the bison, but I like the way that looks right there. You can't tell that the fence was there. And then that bison in the middle is pretty much gone. And that is how you can use the healing brush in Lightroom on your mobile device. And you could also do the same thing on the web version as well as the desktop version of Lightroom. And now you know how to remove objects using the Band-Aid feature in Adobe Lightroom. So now go ahead and give it a try. Any comments or questions about this video, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget, like, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Thanks again for stopping by, and as always, be good to one another. Peace.